Today I have the O-Ray BK-927 8K HDMI audio extractor with full ER compatibility. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to separate the audio component from any 8K HDMI media stream and pass that audio along to a home stereo or a sound bar through an HDMI ER connection. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.1 and HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. Now as part of this review, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included in the kit, and then I'll actually take a closer look at the module, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand exactly how to use it, and then I'll come back and point out a few things that really separate this particular HDMI audio extractor from other products you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the module, full metal enclosure so it's a heavy duty product, You'll find a single 5 volt 2 amp DC power supply. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual is also included that explains everything you could possibly want to know about this particular product. So always read through that manual so you understand how to use the product correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the module, and then I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this audio extractor that you can use to compare it to others you may be considering. The BK927 features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, is a power indicator. When you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test to check the electronics. Once it passes that test, it'll light this LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that is an input indicator. When you connect this module up to the media device you'd like to extract the audio from, that HDMI connection is checked. Once it's been verified, this LED will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is an output indicator. When you connect the module to your output device, that HDMI connection is checked as well, and once it's been verified, the output indicator will come on. To the right of that is an amp indicator. When you make the audio connection from this device to your home stereo or your amplifier system, that HDMI connection is checked as well. Once it's been verified, the amp indicator will come on, again, indicating a solid connection. Under normal operation, all four of these LEDs will be on. Power, input, output, and amp. To the right of that is an eARC indicator, and that lets you know if the device you have connected is currently compatible with the eARC standard. And you can turn that on and off by tapping that button. And there are three states this LED can be in. If you turn it on and it stays on solid, that means you've connected to a compatible eARC device. If you turn it on and it's flashing, it means it's connected to a device that isn't eARC compatible. And if you turn it off, the LED will be off. To the right of that is a bank of EDID switches, and these are used to change the frame rate and resolution of the input media versus the output media, as well as the audio standard, and those are fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a service port that's used for updating the firmware. If you need to update the firmware, you can simply connect this to a computer, move the firmware file to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left is an input port, and that's an HDMI port. You'll connect that up to the media device you'd like to extract the audio from. To the right of that is another HDMI port that connects to your monitor to the TV eARC port on that monitor. And then finally to the right of that is an output port, and that again is an HDMI port. This connects to your amplifier or home stereo. Use a high quality HDMI cable for all three of these connections. And then finally to the right of that is a power input connection and you can use the included power supply. Simply plug that into the wall. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray BK-927 with other HDMI audio extractors you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the resolution. This product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content, which is really important because a lot of the audio extractors on the market may only support 4K content. And you have to remember that this is in line with your media device and your display. So if you're using an audio extractor that only supports 4K, but your media device and your display are 8K, that audio extractor is gonna reduce the resolution of the image. So knowing you've got a product that fully supports 8K on the input and the output means you're gonna get a really nice picture on that display. 
Two other important differences are the HDMI certification, which is 2.1, and the HDCP certification, which is 2.3. The HDMI certification is important because that's gone through a lot of changes in recent years. There have been a lot of new advanced features introduced into the HDMI standard. So knowing you're on the latest version of HDMI means you can immediately take advantage of all those advanced features. The HDCP certification is important as well because that controls copy protection. So knowing you're on the latest version of HDCP means you can play a wider variety of different files. Another really important difference is the simplicity of the unit. A lot of the units on the market can be fairly complicated to connect up. With this one, you have an HDMI connection to your input device, an HDMI connection to your output device, and an HDMI connection to your audio device, and it's fully eARC compatible, which again is the latest standard for audio. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. I like the fact that I can absolutely separate the audio from any HDMI media stream and pass that along to my home stereo for that full theater experience.